Well, good evening and welcome to Hags Bank campsite. This is just short of Nented, which isn't far from Al Alston. And we're in a beautiful spot. And when I said beautiful, I wasn't talking about you, John. Very picturesque. We've got the camp, got the tent really nicely placed tonight. What a marvellous view. So I uh, intend to do a bit of walking over the next couple of days. So I don't know where, but we'll just see where we end up at. So have you got any words to say, John? No. No, you've got nothing? Nothing. John's looking very tanned at the minute. He went to the uh, tanning salon last week. <laughs> he was looking orange the other day. <laughs> oh, uh... yeah, it's a lovely campsite. Cracking. So, all this tiered stuff. Beautiful. So, we're going to have a wander now. See well, where I've we walked up on. from the campsite now, up this track here. We're just looking over above the Nenta Hills and everything. It says Mine Works Galore. That used to be here. And in the far distance, we pick it up, Great Dunfell, in the distance over there. So hopefully that will be a visit on this trip. So we'll wait and see. It'll pan round. Just lovely. Really, really nice. Well, we're approaching what looks like some more old mine workings. We're not quite sure where it is, but uh, We'll find out sure enough. Uh, a couple of huts. Quite interesting. We've seen some, what was it, a grouse, was it? Yeah. A grouse, yeah. Hot way up earlier. Flew out of the heather. Hmm. Well, lots of ruins of something. You can see in the distance. I'm not quite sure. I've got a real big zoom on the camera there to try and see what it is. Closer to it, keeping a steady hand. Hmm, I'll have to look that up. Very interesting. So we'll pan round here and look at the remains of this mine. There, there's a shaft that is actually closed off with wood. It's probably a really deep shaft. Well, we've just come on this interesting mine here. Found that. Looks like a shooting lodge. Loads of uh, grouse and the shooting butts all the way along there. And another slag hoop. And Lara Croft is getting to the top of it. Oh, not Lara Croft. <laughs> All sorts of, like uh, there she is at the top of the hill. Two slag heaps in it. Well. Two slag heaps in one day, one week, Mark. Huh? Two slag heaps in one week. Aye. We're coming to slag. <laughs> slag heap, that is. All these workings down here, all the steel. Like <laughs> that must be a big shaft there. Eh? Must be a big shaft. I bet it's deep as well. Now you see the top now. Thank you. 
wonder how many people work to paint up one time. Oh, my lord, wouldn't they? Well, at the window of this hut now, it's obviously been used in the past. It almost looks like a bothy. Eh? So, see a bit of reflection, do apologise. But I can't get in it, it's locked. But yeah, I wonder if this is sleeping platforms. So, where they stayed, with these. Don't look very old. There's cans of Stella there, Diet Coke, and bottles of water. So, somebody's been in here, either they've broke in. Oh, they just want a lock on the door. Very interesting. I think there's a fire there as well, just at the back of this. Uh... Yeah. Let's go around front of it. That's what it looks like. Mine has stopped here anyhow because this is proper wilderness. Well, that's us back down from our evening walk. It was very pleasant. Nice walk up, Pala. Yeah, lovely. Right, so just love a look in the campsite now. Beautiful evening. Right. Have some tea now and a few beverages. Well, we're back in the tent now. Look at the lovely vista. It is beautiful. Beautiful. Couldn't recommend this campsite better. Nice folk. And here we are, the star of the show. I'm not a star. Lord of Croft has been making bait. I know a sneaky bugger took the camera and called me Lara Croft before. What's all that about? I've just checked it on the editing there. Lara Croft. Do I look like Lara Croft, honestly? Well, Lara ridiculous. Croft has got a day bag. <laughs> and she's yes, it's picnic bag. <laughs> Oh. Yes, and it's lovely. It goes with his dead butch image. <laughs> sure. There's nothing wrong with it. It's very red riding hood, isn't it? Oh. Yes, it's very this was this was John's Christmas present for me, <laughs> believe it or not. I mean, come on. Yeah. What's for say? It's like Teddy Wogan's wand, this blankety blank. Well it's bigger definitely bigger than your one well, from what I've waiting for. Yeah, I'm supposed to think an egg with that. Uh, do it from a distance. So Mark's gone for a treat tonight. Yeah, this time last year I was playing 450 for a pint in um, Sky. Yeah, so lesson time, lesson and, learned. And 12 months on. He's gone to Lidl. He's 89 pence <laughs> out to Lidl. <laughs> Can't. His favourite shop. I haven't even tried this, so. Well, good morning. It's day two of our trip up by Nented. And uh, we're actually on the Isaac's Tea Trail this morning. And we're going to walk into Nented from here. This is the campsite. We're just walking through our tent. As we come round, we're just going to follow the signs in and see where it gets us. That beautiful sunshine that we've had has disappeared. But it doesn't really matter because it'll get out eventually. Just a misty start at morning. So. Hi, we shall. Oh, I'll tell you, we've walked about half a mile now. We've come to some woodland. So we're heading through it now, still overcast, hoping it gets out. What I like about uh, this little trail, we've already been over three or four of these classic old like stepping stones and across rather than your traditional wooden sty. So I've come from over in that direction, really interesting. We've come further down now on this Isaac's Tea Trail and we've just crossed the sty. Um, there's a pan up here and some old mine workings here. A lot of sand about as well. Um, presuming there's still plenty of wiring left from many moons ago. Need to look it up exactly which mine this was. We will do once we get back and we've had a study. But yeah, a lot been going on down here. I've just come further down now and just have a look down here in this mine shaft goes right down by the look of it so as you can see this gate does lift up but uh, certainly don't fancy walking down it 
in the dark, proper spooky, you never know what you're going to come across. So, we come round, so that's what it looks like. Plenty of workings over here. Over there. Alright, mother. Yeah. What's ambient, yeah? Let's have a butcher's. Well, we just arrived in Nented. So, nice and quiet. Nice walk along that river there. So, just looking at the history of the town and stuff. Village sort of. I'm just going to walk, walk further up into the village and look at some of these trails. Well, we're just up by the old mining entrance. There's obviously a visitor centre somewhere. Just been in the local shops. Got a pub there, there's a bike shop and a little corner shop just down. Back of the toilet. Nice, so we've got some cake for supply, so I'm sure there's some nice trails up here, so we'll crack on up and see what we can find. It's still overcast, unfortunately, so we'll just see what happens and pray the sun comes out. Well, we're up out of mines now and um, doing some nice bits of history already. Obviously quite a fair size. Loads of stuff going on. Uh, straight in front of us there'll be all sorts. So we're going to have a scratch about and see what we can fit. Well, we're up in the workings now. There's plenty around. Look at this. Loads. Monte, come here please. Monte! My dog is being a right pain in the ass today. Barracks. Plenty of interest. Monty's continuing like a muppet. To walk around where he shouldn't be. Monty, can you come on the path, please? Come on, now. Pan round. That building there says it's a workshop. I haven't been up to read the writing on it yet. There's all sorts. Over there as well. See, there's some rails over there, so we'll have a look in a minute. More workings now. We got close to these tubs. Quite a few of them actually. Come round. It's quite eerie with this mist, John. Quite a big area. Oh yeah. Yeah, unfortunately just wasting away now. I'm sure there was some information on this board and now it's just blank. It's quite sad really. It's been left to rot. Huh? Yeah. All sorts to look at. Well, this is cars, mine. There's a lot more old stuff here, part of the old line that went into the pit. And still, we've got the ends over here where the tubs went, sitting on the way down. Have a look. That's the first real bit of signage we've seen back there telling you about the cars level. Opened by the Duke of Gloucester, 
2003. Right, goes right in. Now, there's a tub here as well, if you can see it. Yeah. There's a few. So I wonder if uh, the trucks actually go down. A lot of tubs in there, Mara. Load of tubs. Well, we've just come up a little bit higher now. This was one of the, probably the, one of the old reservoirs that they use for the mines. There's probably a lot more water in it than there is now. Comes right round here. It's dried out here. Let's see if I can zoom in further across the other side. A bit of a, like a dam. Yeah. I think the signpost said stag something. I'll put it up on the screen when I edit the video. Everywhere, all the way up here, like. And there's another mine over there with a couple of. Well, that's quite a few actually. They look full of stone, the tubs, to go over and investigate. There's one down there as well. There could be some actual signage over there, so we're gonna look over there. And in the distance there seems to be another hut, so we're going to walk along here and see what we find. All sorts. Now, well, there's more signage here, but it's quite well worn. It's difficult to see what it actually is saying. You can just read it vaguely. It's basically an outline of all the, 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 mines, the mine shafts around this area, because there's several. It's like there, here, another one there, got one here, and up there with the tubs and further up as well they've all had the names and to the left there's one up there if we look on there it says Thompson's <laughs> name's popular so gonna crack on catch John up and we're gonna there's a hut over there so we're gonna walk to it and we'll probably walk back through this area it, uh, it's just steeped with history it's fabulous really interesting more tracks into a mine. Middle clow, what does it say? Clough. Clough, yeah. I said. Can't get the lingo. I think you can just see it. Difficult to say. Middle, middle clough level, 1758, 1919, reopened by Cumbria Amenity Trust. Small clough mine complex, this bit. Look at Penny, look at them all, see? So this is another a mine. So we'll come round here. Well, oh, there's the grid for grass so you can't get in. There, you can see the wood there as well. Open everything up. I don't know how much you can see on the camera, but... Walk up the top of that in a minute. Just loads, isn't there? Look in here, so. This was a tourist attraction in 1821. Hey. Was it? Yeah. Heck. Long time ago. Well, I've come up to this other mine now. You see the. Uh, Three tubs here and they're full of stuff. And the uh, rail is intact. Uh, move along. But it's dark and dingy in there, you like. Ah, the rail stopped there. They've like been broken off. It's well cut off. Wonder what went on in this house as well. Wonder if anyone stayed in it. I think someone stopped in here, John. At one point. Who knows? Well, we found this area. Obviously, this is a bit more modern, but if they've had people visiting this area, this has been added on. Place of significance because there is a door here. Obviously went inside all this. There's a shaft here. Yeah. 
Is there another one? Some of the butchers. Ah, there, yeah. Found in there. Where are they? Back in there. Someone in there as well? Yeah. Okay, how to get in there? Ah, there is, there's a ledge. Hell. Fascinating. Well, man, that was excellent, wasn't it? Yeah, good day. Really good day out. We've uh, just stopped by in the Miner's Arms pub. With two pints. Three. Two? Just three. You had three. Really? We could have had ten, to be fair. <laughs> but we chose to walk back another two miles, so... Um, yeah, it's been a cracking day. Those mines were really good to look at, so... It's a pleasure, so... Just gonna have some tea now and see what the night brings. So, without further ado, let's crack on. Well, just closing the uh, evening out now. It's relaxing. Turning out nice night. Thought it was going to be dull all day, but it's lovely. Really nice. So, it's panning around. Not many people have come to campsite today. We've got another tent turn up. So. Good day, man, at yes, Mines. Man. Been spot on, really good visit now. It's cold now, though. Uh, it does a little bit chilly. So I'm just looking up here, I'm trying to get it zoomed in. I've got out rabbits. Here. Dogs have heard the word rabbit. Loads of them. Cracking into the day. Well, good morning and welcome to Cow Green Reservoir. This is part of the Moor House up at Teesdale National Nature Reserve. So we've come out here for the day. It is uh, Wednesday, the 30th of May, and we're on day three of our camping trip. So I chose this to have a nice walk on. It's quite warm, but it's very overcast. We don't know if we're going to get any rain. So this nature reserve seems to have a lot of interesting features to look at. I take all day to read all that. But uh, we're going to try and go over to the end of the reservoir, the dam, and I believe there's some waterfalls. Cauldron something they're called. I'll look it up in a minute. And John has donated very kindly a pound of his millionaire winnings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyhow, let's crack on with this walk. Well, there's a shot of the uh, dam in the distance, so I'll try and zoom into it. There it is. So that's where we're heading. Seems a nicely marked path. Seems a nice path there. Eh? Decent enough. Fortunately, I'll have to keep the pooches on lead because there's a fair amount of sheep about and they're just obsessed with carrying on with them at the minute, so it's just tough. I'd say we've walked about a mile or so from the car park now. There have been some uh, old mine shafts we've gone by, they're cordoned off. But you can actually see down one of the holes on one of them. So it's quite a nice view. The reservoir isn't full by any means. But, um, I don't think we're too far from the dam now. Hope we can walk across it, but you just don't know until we get there. But it's nice. Ah, we've got these areas here. We've all got numbers on. Now with the leaflets you got at the car park, it has some information on each number, what to look at, what to look for, which is quite good really. Let's crack on. Well we've arrived at the uh, dam, the Cow Green Dam. Didn't take long to walk, it was quite a pleasant walk actually. So uh, I think we're going to walk across it now. What do you think John? Yeah, go on. 
damn it we will well what a terrible pun honestly damn. it's as funny as Ricky Gervais Ooh. exactly come on and naturally come on to these dams you get a bit of wind oh it's windy yeah good walk across and I think over there it loops back round onto a path so we'll see what it's like that's a good view from it back in line just the same the sun isn't out yet it wasn't a campsite this morning but now nah, look over that way it's clouded right over We're at the bottom of the dam now, Cow Green Dam. What power it's coming out of that? Tremendous structure, built in the 70s, so I've been reading. Wow. All right, John. Oh, look at the power of that. Tremendous. Wow. Well, this is Cauldron Snout Falls. Spectacular. Nice drop there. Eh? All the way down here. Just going to the River Tees. Yeah. So, nice views. So we're going to walk along this path, go around now. Wow, what power! Spectacular. That really is a quality waterfall. Stunning. Right, we're right at the bottom at Waterfalls now, by River, so you're looking back. A few photographers there, lads, some nice cameras, looking for the perfect shot of the waterfalls. Nice day for it as well. So we're going to walk along this path now and see where it takes us. Well, we'll just stop for a quick bite to eat here. A bit of cake and a drink. Really nice here, lovely, just walk along by River, so... Got to continue on and see where it leads us. We'll have to get back on track. Still quite a few miles to walk. We're going to do a longer walk than expected, so what the heck. Well, I would say we've walked best part of two miles along the River Tees now. It's, uh, it's been nice going on some of these parts, you know. But some of the rocks we've had to climb through has been quite difficult. Monty's had a little bit of trouble. Um, kind of injured himself last September, didn't he? And, and our Glen Tool trip. So I would expect to be hobbling later because he's clattered himself several times and has just eaten something. I don't know what. <laughs> Probably some sheep poo. But uh, yeah, still going along here. We don't know what's around the corner. But uh, cracking walk, I've got to say. Cracking. Well, we've walked nigh on nearly six miles now. We've walked right round by the River Tees and we've came back over this. Nature Reserve, the office is is within a, a farm in the distance, about a mile or so away. So now we've come to the road we came on this morning. So I'm just hoping I don't see a bull because um, I've got the favourite colour on. It won't be a good idea. Well here we are back up at the car park from where we started, 8.4 miles, nice circular walk, cracking, quiet again, we've had a bit of drizzle, doesn't seem to have dampened our spirits though, no. very enjoyable to say the least. So, and what I didn't film over there, uh, there's some more mines over there, I'm not going over to it, see that, 
Uh, there was some kids not larking about before. But we've seen plenty. So we're going to head back in the car shortly to campsite. So that's been cracking. Good day, Amara. Yes, yeah, but on pal. Excellent. So we'll head on back to the campsite. Nice change. So I'll see you later. Right, we're back in tent again. We're stuck here this evening because it's miserable outside. It's just totally misty, foggy, and I believe we've heard out in West Cumbria it's uh, splitting the pavement, so <laughs> we've well and truly drawn the shorts. 60 so. miles from home. Yeah, so we had a good day. That reservoir was a good walk, and right yeah. round by the River Tees, and yeah. lots of, you know, lots of different stuff we'd not seen before, and a good thing it was nice and quiet, really, wasn't it? So, yeah. so we've had a bit of tea. Smash has returned yes. on the menu. Lord of Croft made smash tonight and he's never made smash before in his life. I know, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> so used to making proper taste. But to be fair, the smash was proper nice, so can't complain. So we're going to have a couple of beverages. Yeah. And it's close too, out it's too to go to the pub. So uh, we can't be asked walking up. But it's only about a mile and a bit. But it doesn't matter. We've still got a few cans in here, so I might as well make the most of it. It's been miserable right. for the last couple of hours. It's just starting to lift a little bit now. It uh, could be better. But uh, we've had a cracking day still. So we've got the uh, we've got the only at an angle, because the rain started coming in before, so we've kind of like improvised a little bit. But it's been a good day, man, today. Spot on. Enjoyed it cold now. Yeah, it's getting a bit nippy like. Two old fellas getting cold now. Uh. Oh dear. Yes. Another tent over there. Tent there. And they've moved since this morning further down. Oh, See it? There we go. Dogs are hidden in there somewhere. And there they are. Hello doggies. They're knackered from the walk. Hey, right, Marit, we'll close up there. Ta da! See you later, Marit. Ta da! <laughs> well, that's us packed up now. We had a cracking three days out. So, the weather's got out pretty alright this morning. But, um, we've enjoyed it, Marit, haven't we? Yeah. It's been cracking. Yeah, lovely. So, this is where we've been. Come again, definitely. It'd be nice to pitch up top there. So, we're going to make our way back to West Cumbria now. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Nice break away. Yeah, nice campsite. Oh yeah, most, nice def folk. most definitely. No hassle. Man. Yeah, lovely folk. Right, the old matter. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. And uh, thanks for watching, folks. Yeah. I hope from, you enjoyed the. And from me and Laura Croft, that's Tara. Laura Croft. Laura Croft. It's Lara. Lara. <laughs> Pedantic, Anna. Yeah. yeah. Anyhow, well, that's both, goodbye from us. You're both funny. Thank you.